Happy Monday, everyone. Time to start another week, which means it's time for your weekly esports news. I'm Stella Chung, and in today's Compete Fix, we have the VCT Game Changers roster controversy after Complexity let their male coach play as sub player, T1 making history with an undefeated run in the LCK, and T Few beating out Ninja in the Fortnite Twitch Rivals tournament. In the VCT Game Changers North American Open qualifiers, Complexity and Team X were facing off against each other this weekend. However, Complexity played with a male coach as an emergency sub player to avoid being penalized with a forfeit after Annie Animal Lee slept through the first map. For those unaware, Game Changers is Valorant's all-women competition, so one of the rules is teams must field a full squad of five women. One of Complexity's teammates, Lacey, aka Lace Dilworth, went to Twitter to ask followers to help her wake up Annie. The team did have to start their game down a player and the map was considered forfeit since the rules don't allow teams to play without a full roster. Team X did wait for Complexity to get their team settled and subbed in their male coach Johnny Bombs Bombs, but they still lost the map and the match 0-2. Of course, this sub in from a male player in Game Changers was questioned by the community, and Riot released a statement via Dot Esports saying, In an effort to avoid competition delays, we made oversights regarding match continuation and emergency substitutions for Game Changers. We are evaluating our processes following those scenarios. Furthermore, we will work closely with participating teams to ensure there was no confusion about respective player eligibility. If we take a look at the Game Changers rulebook, actually, it states that all players on a team's roster must be women and in situations where you're without a full team, players have 10 minutes between each match to find a substitute. We'll see if any changes to the rulebook come in the future and how Riot will address this issue moving forward. In more Riot competitive news, T1 completed an undefeated split by defeating Gen G with a score of 3-1 to to win the League of Legends Champions Korea 2022 Spring title. This gives T1 their 10th LCK title and they are the first team to qualify for the Mid-Season Invitational 2022 in Busan, South Korea. Before the match, we saw Gen G's content creator Tim Nemesis Lipovsek on as a special guest analyst and the CEOs of T1 and Gen G calling into their teams to wish them good luck. Game 1 had Gen G starting out strong, but T1 fought back and capitalized off every mistake Gen G made. T1 shut down the game and Kuma UC ended with 10 0 2 on Caitlyn. Game 2 was close and Gen G tied up the series 1 1, but Game 3 saw T1 coming back strong with a huge wipe at the Baron Pit and secured their 2 1 score. And in Game 4, T1 simply dominated to close out the series. MSI 2022 starts on May 10th, so be sure to keep an eye out for T1. Twitch Rivals held their first Fortnite Zero Build tournament since the mode was officially released, and we saw some familiar faces come back into the competition. Can I jump from here to here? The North American portion of the Zero Build tournament brought in Tfue, Cloaksy, Scoped, Ninja, Nick Merckx, Nick A30, and others to participate. Tfue's team with Cloaksy and Scoped beat out Ninja's team, who came in third in the overall Rivals tournament. Nick A30's team took second, and Tfue's team took home $21,000 in first. This was just a precursor to the grand final taking place at the end of May, so be sure to keep an eye out for Tfue's team that demolished at Twitch Rivals this weekend. How do you feel Riot should have handled Complexity's sub-player situation? Are you excited for more Fortnite no-build tournaments? Let us know! For more esports news, be sure to subscribe to IGN Compete, and for more competitive features and news, keep it here at IGN.